rocks contain spaces, either between the grains that form the rocks themselves, where these are referred to as pores, or within cracks. Water that exists within the rocks is referred to as groundwater. Groundwater that exists near to surface can be abstracted for human uses by water companies. Groundwater that's deeper is more salty and is less suitable for use. It can be difficult to visualise how groundwater can exist within a solid rock, so I'm going to do a demonstration using this gravel. If we consider each piece of gravel as a grain within the rock and the spaces between as the pore spaces, I'm going to fill the gravel using this coloured water. From the volume remaining in the cylinder, we can see that the gravel contains about half pore spaces, which are now water filled. If I push on top of the gravel, despite the fact it contains water, it's still solid. So we've seen this happens in the demonstration, but does it happen in real rocks? I'm going to use this piece of sandstone to demonstrate. If I drop a single drop of water onto the sandstone, we can see that it rapidly disappears into the rock through the pore spaces. Rocks like this sandstone can contain a lot of groundwater within the pores. However, rocks that are made of crystals, such as this granite, can only contain groundwater within the cracks. Groundwater is really important to the safety of a GDF, because groundwater movement is one of the ways in which radioactive materials could potentially move to surface or into the shallow groundwater system.